As a child, I didn't really know anybody who shot webs or crawled on buildings or wore suits of armor and, and flew or anything like that. I, I just uh, imagined them and there they were. That creativity is still wowing us to this day. Stan Lee, a titan in the world of comics, has died. The Army tweeting out this message tonight, rest in peace, soldier. And Chris Evans, or Captain America, says Lee is leaving an indelible mark on so many lives. Captain America and most of your favorite superheroes were created by Stan Lee. Spider-Man, Hulk, and X-Men, Lee's superpower, his imagination. And as Local 12's Tessa DeTiro found out, it has a profound effect on many people here in the Tri-State. All of these Marvel books are part of Stan Lee's legacy. And it all started years ago when he created characters like the amazing Spider-Man. So, a little further back. Brian Level says he always had his nose in a comic book as a kid. Now, he draws them. I think it's because when you're a kid you want to be Spider-Man, so the next closest thing is to draw him, you know? I don't know what it is. It's kind of magic or something. Not a good one. Erica Clark is also a Marvel fanatic. She walked down the aisle with a Marvel theme. A lot of happiness and joy. People bond over comic books, art, put a lot of art into the world. Marvel is the way she bonded with her dad, reading and collecting up until he passed. And now, this is my new favorite picture. My dad might not have gotten to meet Stan Lee, but at least Stan Lee saw my dad. Stan Lee's characters were different. It wasn't like uh, someone who was very rich or very powerful. It was just, you know, Peter Parker was just a high school student. Or um, the Fantastic Four were like scientists that had this weird thing happen to them. Brian remembers learning life lessons from Stan's Soapbox, a column where he talked about current events and even politics. I mean, they created Black Panther. Like, he created the first, Daredevil's the first disabled superhero. Like, there, he's always been very, very forward with trying new things and trying to try new ways to represent people. Those superhuman superheroes captivated all kinds of people and make our world a lot more colorful. I don't know what I would do without Stan Lee making comic books when he did. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Tessa D. Tiro, Local 12 News. Enough said. Stan Lee once said he wished he had another 100 years to live to keep creating characters and stories. He had to settle for 95 in total.